U.S. begins investigation against SpaceX over use of Starlink by Russian military. The House Democrats in the United States have initiated an investigation into Elon Musk's company SpaceX to determine whether the company took appropriate measures to prevent the use of its satellite internet service Starlink by Russia in its war against Ukraine, according to the Washington Post. Representatives Jamie Raskin and Robert Garcia sent a letter demanding that the company report any complaints regarding potential illegal acquisitions of Starlink terminals, particularly in the Russian-occupied regions of Ukraine. Lawmakers expressed concern over claims by Ukraine intelligence that Russian forces had deployed the company's terminals in eastern Ukraine, potentially violating U.S. sanctions. Lawmakers cautioned SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell that the anticipated use of Starlink by Russia poses a serious threat to Ukraine's security, Ukrainian lives and U.S. national security. We are concerned that you may not have appropriate guardrails and policies in place, wrote Raskin and Garcia. The investigation underscores the critical importance of the Starlink service for Ukraine's military operations, providing a backbone for digital communication on the battlefield since Russia's invasion of the country two years ago. SpaceX swiftly supplied Starlink terminals to Ukraine at the request of Ukrainian officials within hours of Russia's attack. The Defense Ministry purchased between 400 to 500 new terminals for Ukraine in June 2023, according to the letter. However, there have been long concerns about the broad influence SpaceX and its CEO and founder Elon Musk exert on the war. Lawmakers fear that Starlink could now provide Russia with a similar advantage following reports in February that Ukrainian intelligence claimed Russian forces were increasingly using Starlink satellite communication systems. Recent media reports have suggested that Russian soldiers in Ukraine are using Starlink terminals. Subsequently, this information was confirmed by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. In response to such information, SpaceX owner Elon Musk emphasized that no one officially sold terminals to Russia. A call was made in Germany regarding the launch of a rocket attack on Russia's Ministry of Defense building. Russia's Ministry of Defense building, or the headquarters of the country's intelligence service in central Moscow, are legitimate targets that should be attacked, the deputy chairman of the German Parliament's Oversight Committee, Roderich Kieswetter, has stated. The lawmaker, who is a former German Army General Staff Officer, insisted that Ukraine should take the war to Russia. Ukraine should be given the opportunity to take the war to the Russian territory. Kai Sweater told a talk show on state broadcaster ZDF, noting that Defense Minister Boris Pistorius has already called for the same in April 2023. The only thing I will add from my side is that it is also necessary to attack the Russian Ministry of Defense or the Intelligence Service, the MP said. It is absolutely clear that this is not about civilian targets and not about people, but about explaining to the Russian population that they are the aggressors, he added. When asked, by the host of the show, whether Kai Sweater thought that the attack on Moscow would be rational, the politician responded that those were Pistorius's words. To attack Moscow with Taurus missiles? The host asked, no, now you are putting words in my mouth. No, if within the framework of the agreement we oblige Ukraine to use missiles only in the occupied territories, then they will act according to this principle. Kai Sweater argued, the calls for attack on Russian government buildings come amid the latest diplomatic row between Moscow and Berlin following the leak of an audio recording in which German military officers discussed a potential attack on the Crimean bridge. Several of Germany's allies have argued Berlin to drastically improve security measures after audio of Bundeswehr military officials discussing an attack on Russia's Crimean bridge were leaked. RT Editor-in-Chief Margarita Simonian last week released a transcript and audio recording of what was claimed to be a conversation between four senior German military officials. They could be heard discussing deliveries of Taurus long-range missiles to Kiev in a way that would help them to maintain plausible deniability when it comes to Berlin's involvement in the conflict. The conversation also suggested the presence of foreign military personnel on the ground in Ukraine. The German military has confirmed that the conversation was intercepted and a probe into the leak is underway.